In this video, I will begin to align the six stories on this front page. Something to keep in mind here at the very top left corner of the page. Be sure to keep this area open. I will draw a horizontal box here. And I'm going to add a stroke to it. We do not want to fill it, uh, but just add a stroke to it. And I notice what you may see already also is that one point of a bar is around it or a stroke. I'm going to increase it to four point because I want it to be noticeable. And I'll go ahead and save that. We will revisit this in just a moment. All right. Now moving on to the other part of the page. As I mentioned, I'm going to align everything here. So I'm just going to move this story down to create space for the headline. Okay, I don't want to allow this story to stop here. I want it to be aligned in the Quentin trunk. I believe there is an image with that story. I'm going to take a look here because uh, I do, I only have three images, but for the purpose of this assignment, I do want to add a fourth one. Again, that is completely optional if you choose to. And I'm almost for certain I do have an image. So I'll go ahead and draw an image box here. I will get the image by holding down the command key in alphabet D. Right. I'm almost for certain that's it. Okay. Before I fit the image to the uh, picture box, I'm going to go ahead and do a text wrap around. All right. And let's now go to object fitting, fit content to frame. All right. Excellent. And I can't forget that I need a border around this image. I'm going to check on one of the previous images that I use. 0.75 is the border. So we want to make sure everything is consistent. Let's zoom in and take a look here. Okay, great. That looks awesome. I'm going to add this one to the bottom. I want it to align with the guide. It's very appropriate. And this is a feature photograph. So that works perfectly, uh, assuming that this story, based on the design, is above, excuse me, below the fold. And what I'm doing right now is just adding a box for my headline and we're going to do just as we've done before in terms of cutting the headline command X command V and then also I'm going to go ahead and create a head excuse me a byline box for the reporter's name and the news organization just as we've done before Going to cut this also, highlight it, and it looks as if the paragraph styles are still on, so I'll click on paragraph styles basic, right? That's what I want, and then also I'll do the same here. Click on essentials reset, put everything back in place. All right, good. All right, now let's just play with the boxes that we have here the spacing. I'll go ahead and do a wrap around for my byline box and then bring this up, the body of text, so now it wraps around. Now I've noticed that some students are concerned because we have text boxes that go across both columns in this example. Uh, we do not want this to be the case, so if that is what you have experienced, we want to move it over to one column and then I'll bring the body of the text up here. Okay. The Clinton Trump story is a bit of a feature style, so a softer side of news. So I'm going to stick with the font that I've used previously for the single mom uh, saving for retirement. So I'll be consistent with the Minion Pro. Let's see. We'll play with medium. Yeah, let's try about 24, 30. That's 30. works so far. Let's 
select it and just play with it here. You'll want to do the same thing. Let's try bold. Okay, I like that. Now, we don't want to center it. We definitely don't want to center it. And then I'm going to check it in the preview mode because there seems to be a little bit of white space. No, that actually works. That looks nice. I'm going to save what I've done so far, and then we'll move on. 